Creative friends, today I'm super excited to walk you through my packaging design process from brainstorming to presentation. And guess what? I'm going to introduce you to a powerful packaging design tool called Packdora, which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Trust me, Packdora will take your packaging designs to the next level. Packdora has over 4,900 packaging templates die lines and visually appealing mockups. The possibilities you can get from Pagdora are mind-blowing. You can generate mockups or die lines and they have a free 3D design tool that lets you view your design from different perspectives. I know numerous websites out there offer free mockups and templates, but Pagdora is more than a mockup tool. This tool will level up the way you work and help you create stunning packaging designs that will leave your clients and customers in awe. To get started with Pagdora, kindly click the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get Pagdora Pro. The personal pro plan goes for $29 per month, but if you use my discount code Denix Creatives, you will get a 20% discount. If you have challenges signing up, let me know in the comments and I will carefully walk you through the process. So with that being said, let's dive in okay so we are now in adobe illustrator and pretty much i've been able to do a lot of research and brainstorming on this project so i found these resources everything you see here are resources i'll be using for this packaging design okay so i'm going to set my unit to centimeters then i'm going to edit my artboard and i'm going to set the size to 21 centimeters by 14 okay good okay that's going to be a portrait so i'm going to change this to portrait just like that so we have something that looks like this then it's going to be a front and back design so because of that i'm going to have two pages but for now let me start with the front cover design so with my rectangle tool selected i'm going to create a shape just like this and this shape is going to be pretty much a dark color let's say uh this something like this okay this is this is perfect this is perfect so i'm going to place it here aligned to the left and to the top then i'm going to place this shape perfectly fine like this okay so it aligns very well with my artboard okay then i'm going to bring in um the logo the logo of this brand to the top okay cool that that's it so i'm going to centralize this and then i'm going to change the uh color here to white so it can uh become very outstanding there the contrast is perfect now so we have this and i'm going to uh bring in this I'll, I'll create a circle here first great and this circle carries um white color so i'm going to place the circle just right here like that that's perfectly fine okay so i'm going to duplicate this circle i'll be placing any of this gary on this circle but before then i have to duplicate and create an effect i want so i'll hold alt and duplicate this this way i'll just drag it to this point and that that's cool then i'm going to bring this other circle to the top this other circle we have two circles now okay let me change the color of this one okay that's cool so this is one circle and this is the other circle so i'll bring this to the top good then i'm going to select this and using the pathfinder option i'm going to trim okay good so when i trim this is what we get so i'm able to separate this one from this one so i'll take this one up a little i can give this white color now and place it up there so that is what we get okay i'm going to bring in one of these gary i think this one i'm going to create another circle on top of this i can change the color so you can see the circle perfectly then i'm going to hold shift select this and centralize the circle perfectly fine like that increase the size of this circle a little cool then i'm going to power clip this inside here okay the gary is going to be in the power clip so i'm going to hold shift and select this and press control seven okay then i'm going to arrange this very well i think i need to give this a color so i'll be able to see how it goes okay that's perfect bring it to the side take it up okay it's it's nice then um next thing i'm going to do is to uh bring in this other gary i'll duplicate this and power clip it inside here now the reason why i'm keeping these pictures at the back is because in illustrator before you power clip any object inside a shape you have to place it behind hold shift and select the shape and press ctrl 7 so this is what i get okay then i'm going to type here um gary it's actually 
yellow Gary, but I'm going to type Gary first and then I'm going to change the font here. I'll be using uh, Nemesis. Nemesis. So this is the font. This is the font I'll be using for this. I'll centralize this and give it a white color just like that. Okay, I'm going to place this Gary inside this. And this, this is how I'm going to do that. Before that, I'm going to create outlines. So I'm going to uh, create outlines on this text so it can convert the text to a shape and then i'm going to ungroup all what we have here okay so we have all of this alphabet as a separate shape so i'm going to place this gary behind the six of them that's cool i'm going to uh bring this gary to the top okay let's place it here so i'm going to copy this gary and paste in place five times so we can have six of these then i'm going to show you why i'm doing that so i'm going to place one two three four five so i have six of that now so i'm going to hold on this hold shift select the gary and press ctrl 7 hold click on this hold shift select the gary ctrl 7 click on this hold shift select the gary ctrl 7 Click on this old shift, select the gallery, control seven, and like that, you repeat the process till we have this. Okay, that's really cool. That's the reason why I did that. Then I'm going to type yellow here because of course it's yellow gary that's why all the gary pictures i'm using here are all yellow but for the yellow i'm going to use um alio as a font okay bold alio and reduce that let's see here and give it a white color just like that cool that that's really nice i'm going to select both of them and i'm going to give it a shadow effect stylize and drop shadow okay so pretty much the shadow blends very very well and i pretty much love the shadow then i'm going to bring in this text um white okay i think this is going to be yellow instead of white okay yellow cassava grits crunchy and dry i'll just place it here okay so that's that's cool just place it around there then i'm going to uh bring in this and place here bring it to the front arrange bring to front and place it around here that's a mark to show how you should trust this product so it's saying sand slash stone free okay i'm going to bring in this nigerian flag this is just to prove that this product is made in nigeria so i just uh, place it somewhere around here that's cool then for the uh net weight and these uh icons i'll place them here it's really necessary i place them around there so pretty much this is it so we have the uh front pack ready i'll just group everything here and then i'm going to power clip this inside this shape so i'll be able to take off all the extra shapes okay cool so the extra shapes are gone this is this is it now for the back page i'm going to uh, have a second page like this that's really cool for the second page so i'll place this around here so i'm going to bring in the same um design for the front to the back to make this really easy so I'll open the power clip on group i'll pick this gary and the black shape and then i'm going to paste here cool so we have something like this but this time around i'm going to uh i'm going to make uh this transparent i'll add transparency to it i'll add opacity okay so this is what we get it's not really 100 percent and i can increase the size of this this way so we have something like this i think this is this is really perfect i can take off this white shape so we have just the gary then i'm going to power clip group this all and place a shape on top of it so i can power clip that so uh that's what we have this is what we have here so for the back i'm going to bring the nutritional fact to this side going to the front so we have the nutritional fact here and then i'm going to create a white shape here for every other basic information that will be needed on yeah okay so i'm going to bring this down cool oh uh, yeah i'm going to bring this here so i have this right up i'll just add just the text box so everything fits into one place but it's uh not looking visually appealing so because of that i'll be creating some uh shapes to separate each of them so it looks uh, visually appealing uh okay i'm going to take this up okay 
So I'm going to separate this a little cool that's 16 points then i'm going to create something that looks like this with a green color uh, i'll be using this green here and i'm going to create another line like this and take it way close to the edge here so we have something like this then i'm going to group that and send it to the back just like that so i think i'll do the same thing for direction for use okay 16 then i'm going to bring this i'm going to bring this down also very good so this is what we get it, it, it begins to bring out the beauty of this back just like that then i'm going to change this to white color so it can have much contrast there white color as well so we have enough contrast enough contrast there then i'm going to separate these white shapes take this up really cool then i'm going to copy and paste the white shape so i can bring it down so this is what we get so i'm trying to separate these shapes so we have them in uh sections okay so for direction for use we also have this then uh yeah, i think i will take this up a little good then we're going to also have another section here yeah and this is for the uh information about the manufacturer okay i think i'll take this close so we have uh same spacing for all of them so i'll take this a bit closer okay that's that's cool okay so i've been able to uh, have the same spacing for for each of them I wish I can get this spacing better than this. It would make more sense. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. Okay, I guess this is more perfect. Okay, okay, that's cool. So we have this. I'll bring this down and we have this. Really cool. And I'll take this up, bring this down as well. Okay, this is this is nice. Okay, the spacing is, is way more better now. So I'm going to copy out this because I don't want this to also be in that block. So I'll take that off and close this. Okay, so for this, I think I'll reduce the size here so we can have it in one line. I'll, I'll also create a block for this. All right, this is cool. Then I'm going to take this up. So that, that's what we get. You can see how the blocks are separated and it's 100% very perfect. And I'm going to paste uh this text here store in a cool dry place and keep a tight after use i'm going to give it a white color and i'll place it around here and increase the size just like that can centralize that okay so i have store in a cool dry place keep a tight after use i'll place all these uh icons down here with the block and then i'm going to place this here and centralize that so pretty much this is what we get let's view how the front and back design looks like so pretty much this is what we get for the front and for the back let me know what you think in the comments about this uh design so next up we'll be moving to the presentation aspect of these designs we want to put this on a mock-up so we can be able to present it to our client when you open up parkdora.com first you can sign up or log in if you have an account already. And don't forget to use my discount code Denix Creatives to sign up for the Personal Pro account to get 20% discount. Once you are done signing up, navigate to Mockups Generator and click. Then click on Pouches, Sachets and Bags. Then choose Pouches to be specific on the type of mockup you want. Pretty much, Pagdora has thousands of mockups, so always choose the specific one you want. Next up, I will click on the pouch mockup that matches the packaging design I have already. Then you will give it a little time to create the environment. Once that is done, I can start creating the mockup by adding my images and positioning it appropriately. Click on save when done with the placement. So I can comfortably use Pagdora's 3D design tool to view my mockup in 3D. Rotate to any side you want and view in different perspectives. One cool thing I like about Pagdora is that their features don't end here. They have more to offer, so let's find out. They have different backgrounds you can choose from to display the product mockup, and you can choose either a gradient or a color, or you can upload your own background image. The most interesting part is, if you click on video, you will be able to animate the mockup with the different animation styles they have. Their 3D design tool allows you to switch scenes and have more detailed presentation. Done with your setup, click on Super Render to export the 3D design you have generated. 
click on super export to export your mock-up and choose the appropriate file format you can export your dialine and video as well with their appropriate formats and this is our final result now here is the twist Parkdora does not offer a free plan because they put in a lot of work to bring your imaginations to reality and they can't afford to give this all for free. I hope this video was valuable. Leave your thoughts about Parkdora in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!